Hey! The following story is a work of fiction, and swear to God, any resemblance between any characters portrayed here and any people you know with the same name of the faces is entirely coincidental. Anyway, anyone that says otherwise, we're just going to deny it. Mate, you're totally surfing in your sleep again. Oh no, that's the third time this week. What do you reckon's causing it? Ah, oh, I reckon the board's too old. Alright, it's time to knock you up something new then. See if we can sort out this sleep surfing business. That's what I'm talking about. Remember the last time we made that orange one? Then went over to Huss's Island? Oh yeah, we should go back up there and make one in the bush. I mean, in the jungle. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. There comes a time in every man's professional longboarding, free surfing career when he finds himself completely asleep on the job. So fictional Harrison Roach and make-believe Doc Bexon flew off to a far, far away land of Hoosney Island to design and build a board that would keep him awake. But that was just the beginning. So good to surf you again, man. Why'd you go in? The wave is still cooking. I have to work in my farm, Harry. Don't plants just grow by themselves, Hoos? Yes, but the plenty of water, we don't have rain this year, Harry. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Well, me and Thomas are gonna go shape a board that'll keep me awake while I'm surfing. Is it okay that we use your shed, Hoos, me? Yeah, of course. But can you make a board that make it rain as well? Alright then, so what kind of board's going to keep you awake? Oh, I just want something that goes heaps fast and up and down and around and down the line and, you know, like, kind of like a fish, like a, a Steve Lee style fish with twin pins, but pull it in the tail a bit so I can try an air or something, maybe get a tube. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, I'm 
in the dark I wait For the moment you slip and slide away I feel bad, bad to my bones When I see you My heart feels like a sinking stone I know I need her But I'm not sure if she's coming home Only long, I'm not sure Like a sinking stone Cause I know I know She's not coming home Nobody could sleep that night Those fish rides had cured Their surf sleep alright But maybe a bit too good So as they sat there under the stars Talking shit about it Harrison wondered how he could delicately ask Doc To shape him a longboard Hey doctor you know, like, while we're sitting here just mincing around, like, I got this idea that maybe tomorrow you could make me a log. Like, like a real nice log. Shit, yeah? I keep forgetting to breathe. Alright, so that fish kept us awake all night. What are we gonna do next? <sighs> I don't know man, I'm so G'd up, um, but I think I'm starting to come down and I, I think we need to like make a log or something and just, just you know, start trimming and lifting on the nose, you know, kind of like keto, you know, wide in the back, up in the front, I want to hang ten, the fish was sick but I need to come down. Oh shit yeah, alright, easy, you know, well, they're all kind of the same anyway, so we'll just, you know, do a few little tweaks and we'll sort it out. We forgot the most important part, Doc. What's that? This board's supposed to make it rain. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. Easy.
Get out of my town! Hey, who's? How's the farm going, mate? Eh? It's getting there. But we need more rain, Harry. We need more rain. What do you mean, horse? Well, little rain is not enough, Harry. We need real rain. No problem, mate. I'll just go surfing some more. get it, Doc. I surfed all day, but it didn't make it rain. But what am I doing wrong, Doctor? Look at me. I was singing about the log, and I mean, that worked, but I, know, I went back and I made another fish for you, and yeah, try that, might work. Oh, I just really hope we can save Horsey's farm, eh? Yeah, shit, yeah. That night, Harrison had a dream. Or maybe it wasn't a dream. Between the surf sleep and the sleepless nights, he could barely tell anymore. But in the dream, the stars had spoken to him. And they told him that tomorrow, there would be waves. And if Harry wanted to make it rain, then he would have to speak to the waves the way the stars had spoken to him. You know now that it's been said out loud, I really think he's had too much to dream last night. Either way, it was a good one. Maybe he was still asleep. Maybe there's no such place as Hoosney Island. Maybe there's no such thing as magic surfboards. If that was the case, then maybe he should just keep dreaming. The storm was coming. He could smell the lightning in the air. And he remembered what the stars had told him the night before. It was as if his entire life was leading right up to this moment. Or at least the previous week of it. Search so long in the same 
for my left and my right hand to help me understand the sun upon my back. Can't believe I made it rain like that. Looks like I'll save the day. Yeah, or it could just be the start of the rainy season. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I fully saved the day, mate. I cured my sleep surfing, I think. Bagul. Shit, yeah. Harrison and Thomas cured their sleep surfing by designing two new surfboards, but that's just two surfers. Did you know that in every lineup, one of five surfers is completely asleep? Hi, I'm Dustin Humphrey from Deus, and I'm here on behalf of Sleep Surfing International to talk to you about a crisis that's plaguing lineups around the world. If you would like to help stop sleep sur sleep surf if you would like to help stop sleep surfing, if you would like to help sleep. If you would like to help, if you would like to help stop sleep surfing, if you would like to help stop sleep surfing around the world, then come into one of our Deus temples and check them out. <laughs> 